can you see any difference between ready made and home made to know stay till end let's start our video hi guys welcome back to my channel today is another video of you can say DIY we are making coco peat from the leftover parts of our coconut this project will cost you nothing and at the end of the video I will tell you whether I would recommend making this coco peat at home or not even while making we will discuss the benefits and the uses of coco peat so first let's start the video uh, the leftover part or the coconut fiber we need to separate in such a way that we don't need the hard part of it uh, we need to separate them usually the coco peat is made by adding this coconut fiber into a mixer or a food processor but I will show you other option as well because everyone are not comfortable using their expensive food processor to do this kind of experiment. As you can see now you just need to take a soft part of the coconut fiber and just cut down or I must say just chop them into small pieces. Coconut fiber is a natural fiber which is extracted from the outer husk of coconut and this is also used to make various products such as floor mats, door mats and the mattresses. Now let's see the benefits of coco peat. Uh, it has a high water holding capacity, ability to retain nutrients and it's a very good drainage and aeration. Is coco peat a fertilizer? So the answer is no. Coco peat is not a fertilizer. It doesn't include or contains any kind of nutrients to grow the plants. So if you are using only coco peat to grow your plants, you need to add fertilizer in it. Coco peat is best for doing any kind of propagation. So you can just take a cutting and add this uh, into coco peat. As soon as you see the roots are developed, it might take two or three weeks depending upon the type of the plant. And then you can transfer in a new pot. So the next question is, is coco peat better than soil? So the answer is yes, because coco peat is very light and helps roots to grow fast and healthy but do not grow your plants only in coco peat you can take 50 50 ratio or 60 40 so 50 percent will be coco peat and 50 percent will be your normal garden soil As I told you earlier, you just need to take a small portion of coconut fiber and cut into a small pieces. This option is those who don't want to use mixer grinder at home. So I am taking my old mixer grinder. This is the second option. Again take a small portion of coconut fiber and add into the jar. Close the lid tightly and mix for only 5 to 7 seconds. And that's it. Now let's complete the remaining one. Now let's talk about watering the coco peat. It purely depends upon the evaporation. Let's see if you are keeping your plant indoor. The evaporation process is very low. So you can water them after 2 or 3 days. And if you are keeping it outdoor uh, due to the sunlight which gets, uh, the evaporation level is more. And plus what type of uh, pot which you are taking. If you are taking a clay pot, Water evaporation is faster than any other plastic, ceramic or metal pot. Our dry coco peat is ready. So now we just need to add some water to this and soak for at least 3 to 5 minutes. 
now let's see where you will find this coco peat if you want to buy so it is easily available online and offline as well at any local nursery store this will cost you between 150 to 500 rupees After soaking for few minutes, just press lightly and remove this in a different container. This is the type of coco peat which you get outside. I am happy that it turned out so nicely. It looks very similar. I would highly recommend trying this out. And this is the one which was not grinded properly but that's completely fine. You can cut them again after it is dried or else you can use them for repotting your big plants. This is the homemade one and this one is the coco peat block which I ordered online. I hope you liked this video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye.